How blessed is he whose transgression is forgiven, whose sin is covered. How blessed is the man to whom the Lord does not impute iniquity, and in whose spirit there is no deceit. Psalm 32, 1-2. Blessed in the Psalms. 3. Instructed, set right with God. Mashkel or instruction is the inspired title of Psalm 32. It introduces the school of God, which is for all believers. In Psalm 2.10, God calls the kings of the earth to be wise, Hebrew maskil, and submit to the blessed rule of the Messiah. Today, in a world where things are upside down, God delights to teach his own as his students, so they may be right with him. David was a man after God's heart, yet he had to learn important lessons. Through difficult experiences, he saw his need to judge himself in God's light and to confess his sins. He repented of his sin, possibly a reference to his adultery with Bathsheba and the arranged murder of her husband. After a period of hardening, verse 3 and 4, David confessed his iniquity and transgressions with genuine repentance. Verse 5, God forgave him. David thoroughly judged himself, confessed his sins, and put his trust in God. Verses 6 and 7. More details are found in Psalm 51 and 139. As a restored believer, David was further taught in God's school as he continued to rely on his God, who would teach him the right way. Verse 8. God promised to instruct and lead him in it. Instruct is from the same root as the title masculine. Now David even exhorted others to not be stubborn, verse 9, but rather to trust in God, to enjoy fellowship with him, verse 10. As a result, there was real joy as well as a proper response from hearts set right with God, verse 11. The individual believer who has returned to God, as David did, is brought back to him, which is the meaning of restore, Psalm 23, 3. True believers are in tune with God or brought back and may respond to his love with great joy. Alfred E. Bauter